Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Please protect me and take my light as I do this reading for Virgo. Show me the Keep seeing this two of cups virgo you could be dealing with a soulmate energy but we will see if it comes out but if you're coming back welcome back if you are new here welcome just so you're aware i do not read reversals so if a card comes out in the reverse i will flip it upright this is just how i've always read tarot um, and if you're curious to know why that is i did upload a video recently just explaining why i don't read reversals so i'll link it at the end for you but let's see, spirit, how does this person feel about Virgo? Oh, okay. So we're getting the Six of Cups. So this can definitely indicate someone from your past here, um, someone who's really thinking about you, thinking about the good times here. Um, the Six of Cups can also indicate past life connection. So usually with, with this card, there can be like a sense of familiarity, a sense of we've already known each other before. Um, I'll be curious to see if that soulmate card comes out to accompany it because it feels that way. It feels like you already know this person in some way, whether in this lifetime or a past. But this person's thinking about the old times, the good times here. Um, right away, I'm feeling like there could have been a painful ending here between the two of you. But let's let's keep going. How does this person feel about Virgo, please? Okay, that was a nice clean flip. Um, we do have temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, tell me more. We have the Four of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign as well here. I feel like there's someone here, Virgo, who um, is hoping to find middle ground here with you, is hoping to compromise. I feel like they want to have a conversation here with you. I feel like this is someone who feels like... Um, you and them would be a missed opportunity here especially because you do have this strong connection either either in this lifetime or past lifetimes there's just this sense of familiarity with you the sense of feeling safe i feel with this person um so they're it's like they're they're hoping to find a middle ground here a compromise i'm going to pull on that temperance card um tell me about temperance please okay wow I don't think a card has ever done that before. <laughs> uh, Virgo, interesting. I don't even think I could get my cards to do that if I tried to like actively, yeah, wow. I mean, I'm not gonna spend the whole video trying to do it, but it's not, okay. But still, it took some effort. That just happened on its own, and I see that it's the sun. You could be dealing with a Leo energy. Um, here's the thing, you're getting the sun and the moon. So yeah, I feel like this person, it's like you two balance each other out. It's like yin yang here. Could be a twin flame, doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like this person wants to work on things here with you. I feel like a lot of things have come to this person's uh, awareness. So there could have been a lot of like subconscious beliefs, patterns here. So this person could have been engaging in certain behaviors that just kind of like they were on autopilot, didn't really think about it. And if there's been a separation period, which it feels like there has been, doesn't mean it has to be years um, in separation, but it feels like this person's been working on identifying some of those patterns, some of those subconscious things that they just say and do automatically, and it's coming to light here. I feel like you bring a lot of happiness to this person. They feel very, very balanced here with you, Virgo. Um, that was amazing for that card to just come out. Like that's never, ever happened to me ever in my entire, <laughs> uh, experience of, of readings and shuffling and a card landing like that. So, um, I feel like you balance this person. I feel like you give them a sense of, uh, 
it, it, you're like a safety net almost is how it's coming through this person feels like they can do things with you that they can't do without your energy not that they depend on you like i'm not getting codependency they just feel they feel powerful with you they feel like they could take on the world with you here um virgo powerful energy there so yeah I, I definitely feel like this could be someone from your past here just reminiscing wanting to get back to the good times here um anything else about that six of cups please yeah they, they definitely have regrets here from whatever has gone on between the two of you so it's it's going to be different for all of you but they're 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 it's kind of like shoulda coulda woulda energy even i had trouble getting that out i feel like this person doesn't know what to say all the time they're in their feelings and they're navig navigating their feelings and they're trying to understand what those feelings mean um but this person could have a hard time communicating saying what they need to say um but they do have a lot of feelings for you here they're kind of looking at the past and like again whatever they did they're looking at it like they know so if this is someone who um like was a habitual like ghoster or something like that they're they've taken this time to be like why do i ghost people or why is it when i get close why did i when i get close with virgo i push them away instead of bringing them in closer right these are subconscious patterns that we develop over time and unless we take the time to recognize that that's what it is we can we can't change it you can't change what you don't know needs to be changed but i feel like this a lot of things have come to light for this person they've been working really hard um on themselves so they could have you know access therapy or they maybe start journaling meditating there's so many different ways to self-help but i feel like this person is has been doing certain things here and they have regrets about the past whatever happened between the two of you so let's see their actions towards you virgo in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions will this person take towards virgo right away they definitely want a new beginning here with you with that ace of wands very very passionate energy between the two of you um of course i feel like the physical connection is very very strong between the two of you but yeah i feel like this person wants more than that even with the lovers wow coming out now they could be a gemini um, we also have pisces leo sagittarius cancer scorpio um, and aries as well this person wants a fresh new beginning here with you they do especially physically they they want to connect i feel like they feel very strongly about that but it's deeper than that something about this ten of wands they feel burdened by something here but they this could be twin flame with that sun moon and the lovers so this could be the runner coming back i encourage you to do research and find out if you are in a twin flame journey but when i say twin flame what i mean is that there's always a runner and a chaser so this is someone you meet this is your other half this is one soul split into two when you meet this person there's a crazy sense of familiarity because it's like meeting yourself you already know this person you're just drawn to each other it's like a magnet but this, the closer you become you start to trigger each other so the runner has fear of intimacy fear of getting close and the chaser has fear of abandonment fear of being left behind so the runner runs the chaser chases and this doesn't have to mean physically running and chasing but it can mean put that push and pull right so what happens in the twin flame journey is you trigger each other then you separate and during that separation period if you've worked enough on these triggers and these subconscious beliefs and that shadow work um, you can come back together what ends up happening is the chaser stops chasing eventually and and chasing again doesn't have to be physical it can be just thinking about the person all the time thinking about the connection you know checking their social media or what have you seeing what they're up to as soon as the chaser stops doing that and says you know what i'm okay it triggers energetically the runner and the runner comes back and if the runner comes back and the chaser is willing to embrace them again, they can have a beautiful connection, right? Not without obstacles because every connection has obstacles, but sometimes it's too late. Sometimes the chaser has moved on. Sometimes the runner doesn't figure out their subconscious patterns. Sometimes the chaser doesn't, right? It's, uh, it, it goes different ways depending on everyone's journey, but there's definitely a super strong bond here between the two of you, but something's on this person's mind. Tell me about this 10 of wands. I feel like they, like they want to say something to you. Yeah. They, here's the thing. This person has a lot they want to say to you. There's a lot on their mind. I feel like they want things to almost just pick up exactly where they left off the last time. So, you know, they want things to move quickly here. Um, but I feel like they don't know where you're at. They don't know how you feel about this. 
expect a lot of communication though. I always say when the eight of wands comes out, this to me is like this other person sending all these messages <laughs> before you can even respond, right? So this person is definitely reaching out in the next little bit here. The energy is really, really strong. Um, anything else about that 10 of wands? It's weighing heavy on them that they want to talk to you. The queen of wands, lots of fire energy. I'm telling you, this person finds you very, very attractive. This could also be, I'm getting like an intimidation factor. If this person feels like it's been so long, you know, um, I just heard glow up. If, if you've been glowing up this time, I mean, that wouldn't surprise me, Virgo, right? Like if, you're, if you've are you been putting energy into yourself and working on um, maybe not just your mental and emotional and spiritual, but maybe your physical appearance as well. I feel like this person is almost like, oh, wow, like Virgo's, you know, is Virgo even going to talk to me or is it even going to be the same anymore? Um, this person definitely feels very, very strongly about you here. They're very physically attracted to you. It's almost like they get nervous when they're around you a little bit here. Um, but it's deeper than that. Like this person does have very strong feelings for you here. Tell me about the lovers. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh yeah, they're trying to manifest the two of you coming together. They could be in Aries. They're thinking about it. They're visualizing it. They're picturing it. They want to come together here with you. I feel like they're going to try and do everything in their power to make this happen because this person doesn't want to let you go here. This definitely feels like it could be a runner energy, someone coming back. But if it's not twin flame, it doesn't mean it has to be. But that, I don't always get that energy, but it is coming through. So take it only if it resonates. If you feel, find that this is resonating with you, but it's not a twin flame connection, that's okay too. Um, but for those who believe it is, yeah, I can feel it. Um, this person is definitely going to reach out to you. They definitely want a new beginning here with you. Very, very passionate about doing so as well. So let's see their intentions though, because I feel like that's important. What is this person's intentions? They said other deck right away. Usually when I go to the other deck, there's cards on the board that need to come out again. Um, but we will see. I said one shuffle. Uh, what is this person's intentions with Virgo, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. Oh. Okay, the Page of Cups and the Emperor. More Aries energy. Yeah, so this person definitely wants to offer you something here. Ooh, I see the Empress at the bottom there. We'll see if she comes out. But um, yeah, this person, they, this could be an apology as well, right? This person wants to step up to the plate. They want to be the leader. They want to take action towards you here. I feel like they want to prove to you is what I'm just getting. They want to prove it. Um, because this could be something that you could have told them, Virgo. Okay, prove it then. Like, I'm not just going to take your word for it. Yes, of course, maybe I have strong feelings for you, but that's not enough, right? So I feel like this person does want to apologize, and I feel like they want to prove it here. Um, anything else for their intentions? Oh, yes. they. Oh, yes. They want to heal this Aquarius energy here. They've done a lot of thinking. They've done a lot of resting and understanding of self again. They, they could have... The last time you could have spoken to them could have been like they ghosted, right? And you thought, this is over. This is done. Um, this person has done a lot of thinking. They want to heal this connection here with you. They want to give to this connection more than they gave before. Because I feel like this person, one of the other things that they're realizing is, I, I feel like there wasn't a lot of practical effort. I feel like this person could have said a lot and not did a lot. So you could have been like, match your actions to your words. And I feel like this person wants to come around and do that. Like they want to... Um, show you how passionate they are about you and about this connection here so you know even with that eight of pentacles and now the six of pentacles some earth energy coming through practically speaking they want to show you so this could be someone who engages in like acts of service right maybe they were more about words of affirmation before which is like a you know a great love language maybe you needed them to show you instead so i do feel like this person wants to heal this with you and they want to step up um to the plate here i just keep hearing prove it <laughs> prove it um, what's the potential outcome between Virgo and this person? Please, Spirit. Thank you. Oof, okay, so we do have the Three of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. Tell me about this Three of Swords, Nine of Swords. So lots of anxiety here, lots of wondering, lots of sleepless nights, overthinking, what if, what if, what if. Whenever you ask yourself what if, fill in the blank, that's your anxiety talking, right? And that's your overthinking that's we, we all have it we all do it um 
Tell me about this Three of Swords, Nine of Swords. Is this just in your mind or is something happening here? Tell me about this Three of Swords. Because if someone's hurt us before, it's quite natural to think they'll do it again. Um, three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about that Three of Swords. Interesting. High Priestess. Pisces energy here. There could be an ending to something else that's been long established here. I'm getting two energies here. Like intuitively, if this person, for instance, like was in another connection or maybe you have been that just hasn't felt right, if there's something that feels a little bit off, like it's not fully fulfilling and intuitively that's kind of like either you felt like this about this other person's connection or you feel like this about your connection or maybe even both. I feel like intuitively there's been like a gut feeling of like, Mm, like yes I'm here but I don't know if this fully is what I want um, so there's going to be a balance here there could be some sort of ending here of something that's been long established something that even requires like legal action here so it could like it could be an ending of like a marriage or if, if people own assets together something like that um, but I feel like intuitively here you already know this Virgo you have a feeling about it whether it's your situation or theirs, or even both. Um, but your intuition is strong here, very, very strong. So you have Pisces and Libra energy. Something's coming into balance here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. I feel like there's worry around, is this just physical? Is this just a hookup? Is this just for fun, right? Because I feel like especially if there is something else that's been long-term, um, the, there's a worry is this just is this all it is here anything else about that nine of swords the king of cups yeah like does this person really care the thing is about the king of cups is that it is they do the king of cups loves deeply the king of love right sitting on an ocean of love but the king of cups has a hard time offering their cup of love at times right so there could be worry i feel so strongly about this person but do i want to like fully open up and give my cup of love because i don't know if they're just here for a hookup just the physical is what they say is ending is really gonna end i mean the three of swords is here so this can be a painful ending right something coming into balance here um anything else about that three of swords right away the sun things are coming to light here so again, like you're bringing clarity to this person, but I also feel like there's going to be clarity on a situation. So even if this is the three of swords that happened between the two of you, I feel like there's going to be clarity. There's going to be a balance here. There's going to be um, a knowing here of, of what happened. Anything else about the three of swords? More Leo energy. Yeah, see, look, judgment. So the judgment and the six of cups are here. Those are my two cards to indicate. This is someone from your past that wants another chance. So this, this could have been the person that has the fear of abandonment, or perhaps you have the fear of abandonment, fear of being left behind, right? Things are going to come to light here. I feel like whatever was unsure, whatever was kept in the dark, whatever was um, a mystery is, is coming to light here. It's going to, yeah. Mm-hmm powerful energy here let's see how will virgo know who this person is how will virgo know who this is spirit the seven of wands someone you could have blocked i don't mean to laugh it's just the first i heard i like i blocked their ass like i blocked them i had them out of my life so someone you could have blocked here someone you could have felt like was uh defensive or you had to protect your energy from could be a fire sign doesn't have to be we have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Cups. So it could have been someone that you felt like was um, had a lot of options. Someone who kept you confused at one point. Someone who, again, the Queen of Wands is coming out again. Someone who could have been very flirtatious, very like sexual. Someone who, uh, you know, got a lot of attention from people. Um, I feel like that, I feel like you and this person are quite good looking. So I feel like there could have been wonderings about is this person who they say they are you're getting the seven you're getting seven seven as well you got the moon and the sun there's a lot of like mirroring i feel like going on here which makes me feel again like the twin flame um 
but you're getting seven seven so look out for synchronicities and whenever my cards start to sync up it's always spirit's way of letting me know this is a significant relationship in your life this is someone you're meant to meet this is someone who's meant to help your soul evolve and grow and you them um so they're coming back for a reason here so yeah, it could be a fire sign, could have been someone who you felt confused by, maybe had options or you felt like had options. Any other indicator for who could be a Taurus, someone you could have been in a higher level of commitment with, or someone who again, like it could be that they're in a higher level of commitment and that's ending. Take it as it resonates here. Um, any advice for Virgo? I mean, I feel as soon as I got this, it's, turn into the or turn to your receiving energy right this could be a fresh start the ace of pentacles is a beautiful energy of look at that that brand new seed growing right if you nurture it and you take care of it it can grow into something beautiful i feel like it's up to you here i feel like the, the ball's in your court so to speak um but if you're used to kind of doing like in your masculine energy always like pursuing this person or asking them what's up or what are we or what are we doing or what's what's happening step back into your feminine energy a little bit more and be in, in the receiving mode i've let them come to me um it's not a male female thing because we all have masculine feminine energy but let's see what we get from here virgo messages for virgo please spirit okay so we have fair woman dealings a relationship with the woman with blonde gray or white hair so take that as it resonates and then we have bell announcement so there could be some sort of announcement here they could be the fair woman you could be you both could be the other person could be if they are in another connection or were ladder climbing towards success Ooh. and then we have the month of july so this could have been something that happened in this past july maybe before that um there could be a birthday in july some sort of significant event take it as it resonates messages for virgo please spirit thank you i've lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore so this could even be what you have said to them doesn't always have to be what they said say to you uh take it as it resonates i can't stop thinking about you this person you are on their mind a lot messages for virgo please spirit thank you for the messages so far i depend on you too much to let you go i have codependency issues so again this could be you this could be them this could have been the the subconscious patterns needing to be addressed codependency is when you give up parts of yourself to be with another person so the small example i can think of is you know if the weekend comes and it's time for date night and you really want to go do a certain thing and this person says well no i want to do this instead and in your mind you're like i really want to go do this though i really want this and you say okay yeah no problem we'll just do what you want just constantly like trying to do what other people think or think do what you think other people want you to do and give up parts of what you want um and getting to a point where you feel like you like it's almost like you can't be without this person um, it's like, who, who am I without this connection, without this person? So um, I'll, I'll post a link down below about codependency if you're interested. Um, well, I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. So could be finding out the truth crushed me. I am distracting myself to avoid thinking of you. So I can't stop thinking about you and I'm also trying to distract myself here, like this person. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. Mm. I feel unworthy of having love in my life. I feel miserable and lost. Whatever those kinds of messages come out, like obviously whatever has gone on is your journey and it, it's not to say that there wasn't pain and hurt but i feel like hurt people hurt people right it's not an excuse but it just i can feel almost like the heaviness like the sadness when messages like that come through oh okay lots of energy the energy is very strong camera reminiscing 
making memories learn from the past perception i mean that's a perfect message right there cut down cutting out separation stop the pattern silent treatment so yep those are perfect messages right there from that deck let's see messages for a virgo please spirit thank you okay we have animal guardian trust your instincts so again that intuition really coming through here whatever your gut is telling you you already know i feel like on intuitively you already know where's that high priestess you're seeing without even having to open your eyes just like this card indicates right like your your gut instinct is telling you things and you you already know intuitively here virgo trust your gut trust your intuition it is like your superpower messages for virgo you have peaceful resolution Ooh, i got chills so there could be a peaceful resolution between you and this person here it feels like that we have let go whenever this card comes out for me it means let go of trying to control the situation or trying to control the outcome like just surrender right um for some of you it could mean letting go of the connection take it as it resonates but that's what comes through for me we have conclusions are within reach so this is what i was feeling in the potential like i feel like whatever was whatever was a mystery before whatever was unclear is coming to light um a time to give rather than take your energy here virgo i heard give some love give some love i don't know why i heard it like that but i did and then we have nothing is yet set in stone mm, okay the color green i know this is like a bluey green but the color green this green is really standing out i'm seeing like a green sweater or something like that like if that's you i can feel your energy <laughs> um messages for virgo please spirit thank you for the messages so far thank you so we have go the distance number 47 i just heard you can do it wow i'm getting a lot of uh messages that way today that doesn't usually I feel things um more strongly than hear things i mean i'm open to all, all the things spirit so thank you but i'm hearing a lot today so i, I feel like this is also going back to this person want, has a lot to say to you with that eight of wands like they want to move things along quickly they have a lot they want to say and get out here um but let's read the the message here for you you either are in or are calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time for better or worse as you ride the ups and downs and even strain break yourself and are remade in new growth you are being redeemed by the power of regeneration harmony does not mean there will never be a wrong note played but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity a new song can be written an instrument can be tuned and the symphony of love will play on listen with your heart isn't it magnificent thank you so much spirit so i feel like that that also really to me is coming through as the history the two of you have even if there's been a long separation period um or just a, a difficult separation period or maybe both it sounds like you, your relationship can stand the test of time it feels like that um but i i truly feel virgo or even if you're a cross watcher and this is about your virgo um that the ball's in your court that's how it's feeling so let's see okay so these could be initials of you of this person maybe numbers you've been seeing birth dates take it as it resonates but if something here doesn't resonate with you it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading so we got j j again r junior i just heard u the number seven and the number eight okay virgo so i do hope something here resonated with you if it did please let me know in the comments down below please like share subscribe if you feel drawn to do so thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy love and light